What happened in Dallas, Texas last week uh, when two men attacked an exhibit that was designated to display cartoons mocking our holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa Well, no doubt we condemn any kind of violence. We condemn any kind of terrorism. We do not tolerate any person in the name of Islam attacking other people, civilians, in the name, under the name of defending Islam. That's not acceptable. Let's be clear here. And I believe all Muslim leaders in the United States were very clear on that issue that we as Muslims in this country, we do not accept, we do not tolerate any person under any justification attacking other people, killing other people because he is offended by their action, because they mock the Prophet. So let's be clear on that issue, my dear brothers and sisters. But I have a question. Why they are doing this? Why a lady, a Zionist, her name is Pamela Guller, would take joy in attacking and mocking our Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala aswatikum. When it comes to us Muslims, go read our Quran. The most frequently mentioned prophet in our Quran is Musa alayhi salam. Mentioned with so much praise and glory and respect. We Muslims do not tolerate any insult towards any prophet. Why you guys are allowing yourself to go that law by attacking our holy prophet? If you don't consider him a prophet, but at least you know that there are at least 1.6 billion people around the world who revere this man, who revere this leader. At least out of respect for their feeling, we need to show respect. In the name of freedom of expression, they are mocking our prophet. They are being demeaning to our religion. They take every opportunity they take advantage of every opportunity to attack our Prophet. One day in Paris, one day in Dallas. What is this? You have nothing else to do? You have no one else in this world to mock other than this great and honorable man who changed the face of a human history? The man who brought honor to the human history? The man who was called by the Quran as Rahmah for entire mankind. Why is this? Why this hatred? If someone in this country dares, dares to criticize Israel or Zionist, there will be many voices quick to label him as anti-Semitic, bullying him, attacking him, threatening him. Why do you attack Israel? Why do you attack the Zionists? So no one dares to criticize Israel or the Zionists in this country for the fear that they will be accused of being anti-Semitic. But when it comes to Islam, they always cite the freedom of expression. So how come when it comes to Israel, no one talks about the freedom of expression? When, when it comes to criticizing what Israel has been doing, the crimes committed by Israel, no one would say, okay, this is a free country, I can suppress my views. What's wrong with that? No, you're being anti-Semitic. But only when it comes to our holy prophet, they cite freedom of expression. My dear brothers and sisters, let's be clear. Again, as we condemn the attacks against the exhibit in Dallas, against civilians that was not an Islamic behavior but at the same time we condemn these attacks against our Holy Prophet we do not appreciate not being respected in this country not being respected you know what gala what uh, 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 
Pamela Geller says. Pamela Geller says she's Muslims are trying to create a new class, a new community that no one can criticize them. You know who's doing this? It's the opposite. The opposite. The Zionists are trying to create a class bullying people no one can criticize Israel and the pro-Israel forces. Not Muslims. We Muslims have no problem with someone criticizing us. But there's a huge difference between criticizing individuals' behavior and mocking a great symbol, a great man like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. This has to stop. America has to raise its voice by condemning this kind of bigotry under the name of freedom of expression.